My name is Lisa Bradley, and I play oboe and English horn in the Lake Geneva Symphony. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the oboe family of instruments. The oboe family of instruments has five instruments, just like the flute, the clarinets, and the saxophones, which you're probably most familiar with. They have a family of instruments. There is a piccolo oboe, a soprano oboe, an alto oboe, a tenor oboe, and a bass oboe. The first instrument, the smallest and the highest pitched, is the piccolo oboe, and it is called a musette. And it plays a little bit higher, about three or four notes, depending upon which instrument, specific instrument you have. And it looks just like a baby oboe. And the musette is about this tall. And it has three parts, a bell, a lower joint, and an upper joint, and a reed that looks like an oboe reed and goes in the instrument just like an oboe reed, but it's a baby sized, a miniaturized size reed. The soprano member of the family is the oboe, and this instrument is written in C, so when I play a C and finger a C, it comes out sounding like a C. The next instrument in the family is the oboe de more, and that's the alto instrument. It looks like a baby English horn, only it's about this big, and it has a vocal also. It comes in four parts, the bell, the lower joint, the upper joint, and the vocal. And one of the differences, the vocal fits inside, just like the oboe reed does, but the English horn reed fits on top of the vocal. So when I play an instrument, and the English horn is a transposing instrument, so when I play a C, if I finger a C on this, this instrument, it comes out an F. So it's five notes lower than the oboe. So right now I want to play both instruments, and I'm going to play a C on the oboe, and I'm going to finger it, and it's going to sound like a C. Now here's the same fingered note on the English horn. Not the same note. So now I'm going to play from C to C going lower so you can hear the difference of the two instruments. on the very low notes in the English horn. Okay, so the last instrument in this family, so the English horn is the tenor member. The last instrument would be the bass oboe, and the bass oboe is a big English horn, and it's about this much longer, and has a very different vocal, because the vocal looks a little bit more like a baby uh, miniaturized bassoon vocal. It comes out in a curve like this. If it had this shape vocal, you would have to play the instrument like this, and that would be way too awkward. So right now, I would like to play the solo from Dvorak's New World Symphony, the Largo Movement, which is a very famous English horn solo. First, I'm going to play it for you on the oboe, which will sound too high and not quite right. And then I'm going to play it for you on the English horn, and you can hear the difference. And there's a little bit of a different sound of the timbre of the instrument in this solo. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> 